Never have we seen a real estate market like this, ever. Low inventories, bidding wars, crazy prices. This is unprecedented. Nationally, we've seen real estate values go up 16.6% .6 in the last 12 months. Here locally in Steamboat Springs, we've seen appreciation from 10 to as much as 40% or more in the last 12 months. So today I wanna to talk about real estate values, fair market value and emotional value. We've all heard the term fair market value and the operative word is fair. And I'm using it as an adverb. In this case, acceptable, appropriate, and really justifiable. Establishing fair market value in a neutral market is really easy. You just look at sold comparables and there's your fair market price. Let's say you find four comparable home sales. So they all were priced around a million dollars, sold for a million dollars. They're all very close in size and location and condition. Well, there you go, there's your comparable sales. So the next home will likely sell for around a million dollars. Now, a normal appreciation is about 5% a year. So the next time that million dollar home comes on the market, it'll be priced at about a million fifty. So a 5% appreciation in one year or a 5% gain in one year. Today, since there's so much more demand than supply, not only are we not keeping up with appreciation trends, but we're having bidding wars and people are purchasing properties based on emotional value versus fair market value. Emotional value arises from both pain and pleasure. You know, fear of possibly missing out on something or fear that the inventory is gonna get even lower. And there's the pleasure side. Maybe you've always been dreaming about that house on the creek or being close to the new school. Now, emotional values are often not rational, but they can be justifiable. And emotional values don't always follow the normal appreciation trends, which is why we're seeing upwards of 40% appreciation in Steamboat Springs over the last 12 months. We don't often know all the variables that go into an emotional value sale. A particular buyer may desire a specific home, and if that specific home is desired from other people, then you get into a multiple offer situation. And the scarcity of inventory and the fact that there's more people bidding on that home just justifies the higher price that somebody's willing to pay. So in this case, the price of this specific home gets bid up. And let's say there were four bidders on it and three of the bidders actually lost out on a bidding war last month and this home finally comes available, their motivation just increases. And so they may pay whatever it takes to get this home. So in this home that just had this bidding war, we have emotional value that's driving the price up. And once this emotional value home closes, that sales comp goes into fair market value, thus driving prices up. Fair market value follows logical and justifiable price appreciation. Emotional value really drives prices up, which is why prices are going crazy. Let me show you some examples. Here are condo sales in the last six months. These numbers represent the difference between asking price and sales price. As you see, many sales are over 100% of list price, thus, we could assume it's a bidding war. In these 108 sales, 48% of the sales sold for over asking price, thus a bidding war or an emotional sale. 31% sold for asking price, 20% sold for under the asking price. So as you see of the last six months of condo sales, 48% of those sales were emotional value or at least bidding wars. 52% of those probably sold at about fair market value. Now here's where it gets interesting. We can't always assume that every listing is priced fair market value. There are some sellers today that are thinking, I'm gonna capitalize on these emotional values and raise their price. But sometimes that works, but sometimes that backfires. As we all know, days on the market are down significantly. So if you overprice a property and it doesn't sell and days on the market starts accumulating, people are gonna start questioning what's wrong with this property? And they don't even think about, oh, maybe it's priced too high. They just think there's something wrong with the property. So in this case, either the seller needs to drop the price or they end up taking less than asking price. And sometimes that's even lower than should they have priced it at fair market value initially. So if you wanna sell your home and you wanna get it done quickly, maybe it's best to price it at fair market value and let the emotional value of buyers drive the price up in a bidding war. So if you're not in a hurry to sell, Maybe pricing a home at a higher range may be a good option because basically 
home prices are appreciating at record levels. So maybe you're priced high for the market today, but if we're seeing appreciation of you know 15 to 20%, then it's only a matter of time that the fair market value will catch up to that higher price and the home will sell. However, that's under the assumption that the market continues on the same trajectory. But that's a gamble if you want to take that risk. Today, the value of a good real estate agent has never been higher. Knowing how to navigate the real estate game is tricky, but you need to know how the game is played. You need to understand the driving forces of the market. Who's buying, what motivates them, where and why. Which properties are selling fast and for more and which ones aren't and are languishing. Creating action items for buyers to have their offer seen and accepted. Also creating pricing strategies for sellers to meet their realistic expectations. Stakes are high, emotions are even higher. So play this game to win. So I hope you learned a little bit about emotional value and fair market value and the entire space in between. I'm Charlie Dresden, Colorado Group Realty. If you have any real estate questions or any questions about Steamo Springs, 970-846-6435. Give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Thanks again for Travis to being the guy behind the camera and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Shoot it, just kind of ready? Go. Faster. Try and go back. Go. Then a step. A step. How was that? So yes, as you see, the old gondola building is gone. The new gondola starts a little bit higher up and they are looking like they're making some great progress.